an unboxing video um, featuring a Carrera Go 143rd scale um, home racing set. Uh, let me make this clear that this is a set which I've purchased personally and is not in any way um, a promotional video for Carrera or any other manufacturer or any uh, retailer. Hopefully the content of the video will be useful for people who are thinking about buying a, a home racing set and um, feature and hopefully the video will be useful to people who are thinking about buying a home racing set and have looked at the various possibilities. Uh, Carrera Go is 143rd scale so the cars and the track are quite small um, and can be fitted on top of a, a tabletop or in the corner of a room and therefore um, quite suitable for home racing in many countries but in my case the UK. Uh, so I'll show you what is inside the box and talk about how it's used. The box is nicely presented. Um, this is actually based on a sort of rally cross uh, theme uh, with two cars competing on a, a, a dirt track and um, the track features sections of brown coloured track which are bumpy and lumpy uh, to represent the kind of track that these cars would normally race on. Um, the two cars are here in the corner you can see they're, they're both Citroen uh, C3s and um, decorated in the sort of normal way of, of cars like of this type. Uh, so I'm going to open the box and um, show you what's inside. Uh, the, there's a nice carry handle um, which makes it easy to take home from the shops or for Santa to deliver on Christmas Day. And um, yeah, there's a diagram on the back of what the layout can uh, look like. Um, sort of standard layout here, uh, optional configurations, um, you know, that would fit in a tighter space than something like this. So um, there are options uh, within the um, uh, configuration of the set. Uh, in the box, two cars, um, three lengths of straight, uh, short straight, a uh, sort of chicane or um, a, uh, uh, a squeeze section, a couple of, sorry, a couple of, a couple of squeeze sections, um, the brown type curves that I mentioned with the, the bumpy surface, and some standard curves, the power connection uh, section, and a lap counter, um, two controllers, um, some barriers and accessories. Uh, or a mains, this is mains powered, no, no need for batteries, um, this is the mains power, power pack. Okay, I'll open this end since it's nearest. Um, the, there are seals, so easy to cut those. Uh, obviously, if you're using a knife, um, Make sure you have an adult around. Oh. Right. There's, a, there's a tray inside which has um, the items securely packed for shipping, and I have experience that these can be difficult to get out of the box uh, because the handle kind of jams the contents. So hopefully I'll <laughs> take too long get that. Ah, here we are. Right. I managed to turn the box around the wrong way, of course, but okay. I'm still, still trapped here. Right, here we are. Right, so I'll just box switch now and reveal the contents. This way for no particular reason. Um, first of all, instructions, which tend to be overlooked. A um, bit of information about the Carrera distributors around the world. Um, safety instructions. Um, these sets are aid, aimed at people of six years of age and over uh, and so the safety instructions try to um, stress 
the need for a bit of adult supervision or whatever. Um, guarantee, not sure how long the guarantee is, but um, the current products are pretty good. Instructions. So there are some instructions about how to set up the track, how to join the sections together, um, how to plug in the, the controllers and the power adapter. One back. Um, how to maintain the cars if, if you know once it's had a bit of use, um, especially if you're running on the floor or a carpet surface, then the car can get clogged with fibres from the carpet. Um, so a bit of information about how to make sure that the contacts um, underneath the car are um, maintained in good order. Where should we start? With the cars, obviously. Um, two nice cars, Citroen C3. Uh, oh. right, okay. um, this one is in a famous drinks, energy drinks livery, and um, quite nicely done. Um, these cars are nicely detailed, so they, they very much resemble the cars that are um, competing in the real world. Um, as, as I mentioned, um, there are contact strips underneath, um, which need to be kept in a fairly good springy condition. Um, small motor, little magnets. These, these cars are uh, magnet traction, as it's known, um, which will uh, hold the car um, fairly firmly down on the surface of the track on, um, via the ma magnetic attraction to the rails, the power rails. So nice little cars. See the same kind of car, Citroen. Oh, sorry, they're not. This is the DS threes. The DS, the um, luxury brand from Citroen. Um, this one's sponsored by um, a, a hotel group, I think. Um, same thing. Little things underneath. I'm not sure why they have this UK CA sticker. I've never seen that before. Or a, a career go car, so I'm a bit um, puzzled by it. Obviously, I'm in the UK, so it's it, the power adapter. Is suitable for use with the um, UK 13 amp per sockets. So nice cars. Um, controllers. Many. Well, these are thumb controlled controllers, thumb operated, um, and uh, many slot car. Companies have gone to sort of trigger type controllers uh, where you operate the um, controller with your finger. But Korea have stuck with the traditional thumb operated type. Um, this set comes with the latest kind of um, power unit, power adapter from Carrera, and the controllers have red uh, con uh, connectors. Um, that's important because the controllers are electronically different from the older Carrera Go controllers um, and are not compatible. Um, there are sort of ridges on the um, connector to make sure you don't plug these into the older style uh, power bases. So two of these, obviously one to each lane. And I guess I should maybe go straight to the power base I just mentioned. Um, this is the latest kind of power base for Carrera Go systems uh, which is sort of black with a red um, plate underneath and the controllers plug in here like that, two of them and the power adapter plugs into the end um, socket. Now as I say it's, it's important to know that the um, these new ones with the red base are more advanced than the earlier ones um, so and the, the two are not interchangeable, well they, they're interchangeable on the track they're not interchangeable in terms of the power connections. I'll look at the lap counter next. Uh, it's a fairly um, old-fashioned mechanical lap counter. Uh, there's a little trigger in the, in the slot, so when the car passes by, it rotates the knob um, and counts the number of laps the cars have passed. So basically you set, um, turn around this way, um, set the pointer to the 50 mark, which is actually kind of like the, the zero mark also. Um, and then as the cars pass by, it counts up number of laps. Four, five, and um, so this side, four, 
oops, four, five, um, and so on and so on. Um, so you can see, right, we'll race to 10 laps, and then um, first car to get to 10 laps wins. Um, and you can hear it clicks, it clicks as you drive past every time. Um, there's a short straight section here, which is used to make up the overall layout. Um, you can see that that is the same dimension, the same length as the power bay, sorry, the um, lap timer, lap counter, I should say. And so uh, you can balance the use of the um, sections around the layout. Um, we'll go to the straights. So two, which have this um, swerve section, uh, squeeze section, because it kind of squeezes the two cars together. And there are three plain black straights. Um, if I can just tear these in one. Four. Nope, I need the light. Okay. Four. I'll start with the black traditional stock car track sections. Um, these are purely straight, as you can see the two lanes with the slot and the rails for the power. Um, the, the rails provide power to the pickups on the car. Um, not much to say about these, they're sort of a fairly standard thing. Um, this track is rigid, plastic, hard plastic. Some tracks are sort of soft, rubbery plastic. Um, which can warp. Um, so the um, brown sections I mentioned earlier, uh, they have these bumps on the um, surface to simulate sort of you know a non-tarmac uh, race surface like a dirt track. Um, there's also a sort of imitation sort of mound at the side here just for decoration. Um, the two cars become close together, so um, whoever gets there first gets past and the, the car behind will be held up if they're if they're nose to tail. Um, two of these which fit into the um, layout. There. The curves are similar. Um, there are four plane curves Oops. and two of the brown type, the dirt type. Again, the dirt ones have the sort of lumpy, bumpy surface, and the black ones are plain. Um, the black ones have a red and white border around the edge, which is quite nice. Uh, while we're on curves, the, um, the set comes with these, these barrier strips which fit round the edge of the curves um, to make sure the cars don't fall off the edge or whatever. Um, you know, they act like a, a crash barrier on the outside of the, the um, track. I'll just quickly show you how these fit on. They can be a bit fiddly. Um, these clips hold them in place. The clips also have a facility to put a flagpole in, um, which are not provided. But you could, you know, obviously make flagpoles out of something like a cocktail stick or something. Um, the trick to get these on is to clip onto the edge. So the clip is to put the uh, inside hook on first, and then swivel it round until it clips into place like that. They hold on quite well. Um, once you've got the hang of doing that, it's straightforward. Put three on, just like that, and then the the, the barrier strip uh, is best fitted. Pushing it in at the top, you see how it works. You know, and clipping at the top, and clipping at the top, and then push in the bottom, snap in the bottom, and um, so therefore we have a, a nice sort of barrier on the um, outside. I see if the car slips out, it'll get held by the, the barrier 
Uh, in extreme situations it might go over the top, but hopefully it will be help kept in place. Uh, so that's the, um, barrier. Oops, the barrier. The other thing this track comes with are these supports. Um, so the, the layout, as suggested, has a sort of flyover arrangement. And so you need to raise the um, track sections so that the cars can pass underneath. So that is done using these clips which fit into the bottom of the tracks, the curves or the straights and um, they have these sections here which are different um, and you can clip these in by doing that hope that came out of the camera and remove it just by simply being a bit ruthless or well, actually you can squeeze them you can, I just realised <laughs> just realised you can squeeze these to spread the, the clips and then clip them on a bit more um, gently so obviously I see that will oops, oh, that will support the um, track above the lower track so that the cars can get underneath um, so those work quite well um, there are two, sh two long ones and two short ones which may not sound like enough but um, it works okay um, approaching the end of the contents here um, the final item here is the power pack which provides electrical power to the cars um, through the controllers so as I said um, this is a UK one with a three, three pin plug uh, which fits our mains power system uh, it's the output, although the input obviously is the mains 250 volts in the UK um, that is all protected by the, the shroud of the um, the unit and therefore the, the the chance of you know touching a live power connection are, is very small if not nil. Uh, the output is 14 volts um, which is well within the sort of limits of safe voltages. Um, best to take you know certain amount of precaution as always with um, electricity um, so you know obviously don't lick the rails or anything like that um, and uh, just to generally avoid it but you, you can safely touch the rails if you have a cat the cat can walk on the rails and not get electrocuted and be perfectly safe uh, the, the connector is black and it has two little um, ribs which only allow it to plug into the appropriate socket which is that one there and it's clearly marked maximum 14 volts and 0.7 of an amp. Sorry to get a bit technical there. Um, so that plugs in there. It will not go into the, the controller sockets um, and vice versa. Vice versa, the controller sockets will not go into the power socket, the power connector. So, fairly straightforward to connect together. Um, that's the contents of the set. Um, joining, making the setup, making the layout, um, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, you can sort of put one prong in there, one prong in first, and then push in the others, and then close the gap to have it assembled. Um, fairly rigid connection, uh, not likely to pull apart unless you know somebody trips over it on the floor or whatever. Uh, so fairly strong. To to unconnect them. Um, you can sort of lever them apart gently, um, that was a bit rough there, but gently lever them apart and um, it comes apart fairly easily. No clips to release anything like that, you just basically wiggle the um, sections apart. Um, same for the curves, same sort of connection on the end. and um, so you can do various things uh, as I mentioned earlier the layouts suggested are like this 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 uh, and you know this one is effectively this larger one here it's the same thing the length of the running length of the track is 3.6 meters um, which is almost 12 feet and um, 
apart from that, obviously you can have a simple, you can have a very simple oval. Um, just putting the two curves from there across here would give you a nice simple oval uh, fit anywhere basically, and um, and then beyond that you can extend the layout. So some of the Carrera layouts have this loop type section. Um, obviously that wouldn't be suitable for a rally, but um, for well, for fun purposes, uh, the loop section would be quite quite entertaining. Um, there's a sort of seesaw section you can get um, where the cars go over it and then the weight of the car makes it flip down again and then the car can, can proceed. Um, again, good fun for a while. Um, jump section, that takes a fair bit of skill to get the car running at the right speed, so um, perhaps not so much fun. Uh, variety of cars available, um, there are sort of you know, uh, themed sets like Mario uh, racers, um, Pixar cars uh, themes, Formula One, um, GT racing uh, and rally like these ones. So um, for age six and ab above I should perhaps emphasise. Uh, again, you know, all these things these days is a, a QR code to get further information from the Carrera website. Uh, and uh, I think that's, you, you can buy extra track. The, the, uh, I mentioned there's sort of newer track and older track. The older black track um, made by Carrera Go or made by Carrera on their Go system uh, is compatible. So. It's fairly easy to get track on eBay. You can buy sections on eBay fairly cheaply, and they will they will fit the same kind of connections. Um, they will fit this um, set and basically all other Carrera Go sets. So um, so fairly easy to extend it that way, or um, as I say, with the accessories from Carrera. I um, hope that's been useful for you. I'll put some more information down in the description below, as they say on YouTube. And uh, I hope that's been helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. And myself or one of my fellow enthusiasts will uh, aim to answer the questions for you. Um, or perhaps point you to a web forum where you can find more information. Uh, okay, I hope that's been useful. Um, thanks for watching.